sauce. What a pleasant surprise. This morning's full of surprises, Leonidas. We've been tricked. We'll be moving a few hundred. This is a surprise. Silence. This is time. We heard Sparta was on the warpath. And we were eager to join forces. If it is blood you seek, you're welcome to join us. Would you bring only this handful of soldiers against Xerxes? See, I was wrong to expect Sparta's commitment to at least match our own. Doesn't it? You. There. What is your profession? I'm a potter. Sir. And you, Arcadian. What is your profession? Sculptor, sir. And you? Blacksmith. Spartans! What is your profession? See, old friend, I brought more soldiers than you did. Hey, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh Bashem. Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakakodashe. Much mercy. To you sincere brothers out there, the true house of David, all you brothers that's in the spirit that have been redeemed to really understand this covenant that are teaching uh, sincerely. You're not teaching with guile or deceit in these last days. Uh, Shalom to you brothers out there that believe <clears throat> and the ones that are growing in the grace of God. There is no grace in the old law of Moses and there is no faith in that old law the scripture tell you that that law is not of faith matter of fact before i get into this real quick um let me bring out something so you have to understand that there's nothing in that old law of moses and men that are holding you um under that law The, that men that are holding you to that old law and they're teaching you to hold that old law uh, these are men that have been blinded they're still under the veil so in these in these days you have to understand that guys that are teaching Moses and holding you to that old law they have nothing to do with the new and you have certain guys just like I've said you have guys that that they're double-minded how you're double-minded is that you're trying to teach moses and you're trying to act like you're teaching the new covenant these are two different covenants i don't know how much i can say it but the the, the reality of it is the ones that are really of this they're really getting it and understanding it and that is that is all that matters the rest of you guys that can't really understand this you're teaching with the seed and gal this truth is going past you and over you. All right. So you just have to watch out for guys that are um, teaching you to be double minded. Teaching you to have two masters. There's only one master. Yahweh Shai. The scripture tell you right here. First Corinthians 15 and uh, 55. It says, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? So that old law, according to, uh, what's that, 2 Corinthians 3, the scripture tell you that that was the law of condemnation. In the, in the, in the ministration of death, the ministration of condemnation and death, we are under the ministration of the new covenant, which certain brothers are getting it, and it is beautiful. And and this is our lot, man, just to teach this thing in the backgrounds and, and help brothers repent. You guys that are teaching Moses, man, you have to repent out of that shit or a lot of you guys are cursed teaching that. Because there is only one way in this time and that's through your house shy. And if you can't really get that and understand that, then you're, you're not a part of this at all. You're just fooling yourself. First Corinthians 15 and 56, the sting of death is sin and the strength of the law is sin and the strength of the law is sin that's why paul tells you that that old law is not a faith 
All right. So a lot of you guys that are that are, have crept into this and you're double minded teaching men to, to keep the whole law. You do not understand what the Lord came to do. And I got, you know, I got one, had one breakdown. I seen, I skipped through one of these guys breakdown and they really don't understand why the Lord came. They think the Lord came for you to keep the old law with the new law. No, Yahweh Shai is the only law. Yahweh Shai is the truth and the way and the light. Certain brothers are really getting it, man. It's really beautiful. And a lot of you guys really don't get it. All right. And the, so teaching the new covenant too gives you eyes to see certain things. And this is the mercy and the love that we teach clear and giving understanding, not double minded and teaching men uh, false doctrine, because a lot of guys are teaching with guile and deceit. So that that old law, the sting of that old law is 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 the, the strength of that law is sin. It just said that right here. Second Corinthians three and seven. But the ministration of death written and engraving and stones was glorious. That old covenant, it was it was glorious. It had its time and it was written on stone that it was broken. Matter of fact, let's read this one one scripture and then I'm going to go to uh, Matthew 15, 13. I'm going to read a little bit of Matthew 13. So you got to understand. That guys that are trying to bring you back to the bondage, man. That's that's guys bring you back to the bond is Galatians five and the whole chapter of Galatians is breaking down that that old covenant is cursed and there's no faith in it. And you got certain guys that are cursed with that old law trying to bring you back to bondage just like camp. So you just have to beware of the doctrine and you can tell by somebody's doctrine where their mind is or what they're of. All right. A lot of guys are of the world teaching you to hold to the old because you cannot have two masses. Yahweh Shai is the only way. Jeremiah 31, real quick. Jeremiah 31 and 32. Jeremiah 31 and 31. Behold, the days come, says the Lord, that I will make a new covenant. So this is the day of the new covenant now. The teaching of the new covenant, that's the only way to get out of this for salvation. There's no other way. And, you know, these jack these guys, these jackasses in these camps, they'll say that they're waiting on, an, on a covenant and new bodies. Well, you ain't going to get out of here. A lot of you guys have been set up to be that wide gate to destruction. Matthew 23, they stand in front of the kingdom because they can't go in themselves. So you have to be able to see guys. They're standing in front of the kingdom of heaven with Moses. And Moses don't have nothing to do with it. So you're not even following Moses. <laughs> it's crazy. Jeremiah 31 and 31. Behold, the day of come, says the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day I took them by the hand and bring them out of the land of Egypt. Not according to the covenant. So this ain't according to that old covenant. It's plain right here. It says, which my covenant, they break. Which my covenant, they break. So guys that are teaching you to keep that old covenant, they're broken with it. At least some of you guys repent and stop trying to act like you're teaching men to, 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 to hold two masters. That's you can't hold two masters. So that's going to Matthew 13 and go through a little bit of this. See how much I can get through this right now and a lot of guys too just like in the time of moses i'm gonna be honest you know they hate who the lord actually set up there's a lot of uh guys are in that hateful covetous spirit but you brothers that can really get this and understand is that's beautiful a lot of you guys don't get it and understand it. a lot of you guys you're in opposition with god you're not really in opposition with us you're in opposition with god and the spirit a lot of guys have blaspheme. That's why you got to come out of these groups in certain camps. A lot of guys are teaching with hate in their heart. Deception and gal. Lies, hypocrisy and shit. So let's go to Matthew 13 and um, let's read through this a little bit. Matthew 13 and 17. 
It says, For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and hear these things which ye hear, and have not heard them. And that was Yahweh Shai coming. Yahweh Shai is the law now. The, the law is all based on Yahweh Shai. He has all power has been given unto him. So many men have wanted to desire to see that coming of the Lord and the understanding of the Lord because all power has been given to the Lord. All power has been given to the Lord. So the Lord, if, if you don't have your house shy, you ain't, you're not going to make it. That means actually being in his spirit, understanding and teaching his covenant. If you're not in your house shy, you're still in sin. And if you're teaching men to, to hold to Moses, the scripture tell you, if you're not teaching what they were teaching in Acts, then you're cursed. It ain't my words is what the Lord, the words of, of the Lord says. And by men's doctrine, you could tell what's on their heart. So you could tell who's who in this time. That's why the new covenant, you have to grow in the understanding. A lot of guys are not growing in understanding. They're retracting. They're fading into outer darkness. So you have to understand that many men desire to see uh, Yahweh Shai come. Yahweh Shai is what? The truth, the way, and the life. A lot of men's hearts has been darkened. So we're blessed to see these things and to know God, to see Yahweh Shai, to understand eternal life. Matthew uh, 13 and 8, it says, Hear ye therefore the parable of the sower, when any man hears the word of the kingdom and understand if it not, and understand if it not, then cometh the wicked one and catches away that which is sown in his heart. This is he that receiveth seed by the wayside. You see that? So a lot of guys don't really understand this like this. Going back to the parables we went over the other day, a lot of guys are falling by the wayside because they really don't have the understanding. You're not in the spirit if you're holding to Moses. There's no grace under Moses. That's why a lot of you make your house shy of none effect. And therefore you have no understanding. That's why the scripture tell you in Ephesians, a lot of men's hearts been darkened because you can't serve two masters and you cannot wear two garments. <laughs> you can't mix the two together. And this has to be drilled home. So a lot of guys that are holding to that old law. You have to repent out of that and come out of the camps and the groups. And, and uh, like I say, certain guys that's coming out of these groups, they see that a lot of you guys in these groups with these elders. And a lot of you guys are, are corrupt and that your doctrine don't have nothing to do with salvation. So think of it. If you're if you're waiting on some shit on the outside of you, then that means you never had it in you. So what's been set up is as a, a doctrine of guys teaching fear and guile and deception. That's what they're teaching. They're not teaching faith into believing your house shy. They're teaching you, uh, they're teaching guile and deception. Yahweh shy, he that believeth on me, as the scripture said, he should have what? Eternal life. He that believeth on me. And a lot of men, they've been what? Condemned already because they don't actually believe. So when a lot of guys hear the word of the new covenant, guys are falling by the wayside because they're, this, this, the seeds are not of Yahweh Shai is not able to be sown in certain men. A, certain, a lot of guys are not good ground where the seeds of Yahweh Shai can grow in. A lot of guys are subtracting. A lot of guys are subverting souls of men. Now it says, but he that receiveth seed into stony places, the same as he that heareth the word and anon with joy receiveth it. It says, yet he have not root in himself, but dure for a while. But when tribulations or prosecution arises because of the word by and by, he is offended. And a lot of men are offended. Because a lot of men, they are, this, this word ain't really sown and rooted in them like that 
It says, he also received a seed among thorns and he that heareth the word and the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and it become unfruitful. That's why this 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 word is a is a is a straight path. If if you you cannot be of the Lord and have one feet in the world, guys are still holding on to the world. And that old law of Moses is of the flesh. So if you're holding on to Moses and telling me to keep the old law of Moses, then the cares of this world is, is choking the word and you become unfruitful. How do you become unfruitful adding that old law of Moses into this? This is something totally new. Yes, a lot of things of the old covenant, they still um, the, 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 the old and the new they you can refer back to the old and it backs up the new but as the laws of the new covenant all the laws have went to the Lord in the spirit so therefore no high holy days justify you no Sabbaths justify you the day of atonement they don't justify you in the new covenant you could, if you were thinking of holding those days on your own, you could do that on your own. But under the new covenant, this is a new thing now. Everything is of the spirit. So if you don't really have your Howard Shai sown in you, then the seed and the 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 the, the, the seeds of the kingdom cannot be. Uh, they cannot be in. If you don't have your Howard Shai in you, then the seeds of the kingdom, you won't understand this. Yahweh Shai is not sown in you. To be predestined, that means Yahweh Shai already chose you to actually understand Yahweh Shai. So what we're understanding is too, a lot of guys wasn't chosen to understand Yahweh Shai. So that seed of righteousness is not in a lot of guys. This is the parable that the Lord is telling us. So Matthew 13 and 23, it says, but he that receiveth seed into the good ground is he that heareth the word, understandeth it, understandeth it. And th the main understanding that a lot of guys don't have is that that old law Moses has nothing to do with this. This is the biggest stumbling block for a lot of guys. Matter of fact, let me read that. In uh, Romans, the stone is stumbling. A lot of guys are stumbling at Moses. You got to beware of guys that are stumbling at the understanding that Moses has nothing to do with this. And that is a major stumbling block because a lot of guys have crept into this and their whole thing is they can't really. Uh, the camps have hold you to that old law. All Every camp in the world is holding you to the old law. Certain guys of the new covenant are trying to hold you to the old law because they're stumbling at Yahweh Shai. And so what that really means is, too, you know, I was thinking about this, too, is that guys never really believed in Yahweh Shai. Just like the brother said, a lot of guys are, are they died against the Lord believing in that old law of Moses. So they're back in this time believing in that old law of Moses. Because you can't believe in Moses and the Lord. So a lot of guys really don't have faith in you. How shy like that? As they're keeping, the, if they're telling you to keep in that old law, that mean they never really believed in the Lord. They were against the Lord when he came. Revelation, I mean, Romans 9. Right, that's what it means. Israel have not received what it, what, have not received what it's looking for. But the elects have obtained it and the rest are blinded. They're blinded. They can't see through the veil. They don't they can't understand. You can't have two masters. Yeah, how uh, Moses, that law has been retired. That law of Moses has been abolished. The law of Moses it has been disannulled. The law of Moses was put away as soon as the promised seed came. And when the Lord died on the cross, that's just when he said, hey, that's when he was glorified. And that spirit went out. So the ones that believed in the Lord, they the ones that were of the Lord back then. And the ones that didn't believe in the Lord, they were condemned. So we could tell guys that, that didn't believe in the Lord when he came by the way they're acting in these times. Romans 9 
and 31, it says, But Israel, which follow after the law of righteousness, have not attained the law of righteousness. Let me read that again. But Israel, which follow after the law of righteousness, have not obtained the law of righteousness. Wherefore, they saw it not by faith, but as it were by the works of the law, they stumble at the stumbling stone. Now, what's the stumbling stone? Yeah, I was shy. So it says that old law was not of faith. So if you think that this has something to do with the old law, then you don't have any faith. So it's not about us, brothers. Um, we don't have nothing against you guys. But the thing is, we're set up to teach the right way and to give right understanding. The scripture tells revelations that we're not going to have no gal in our mouth or deception. So you're deceiving men if you're making men think they got to keep Moses. You're, you're deceiving. You're deceiving. And so if you can't understand this ain't got nothing to do with Moses, then you're not of God. It's just that simple. At least you repent. But a lot of you guys are cursed. Until the Lord come, like the scriptures say, Athena Maranatha, curse to the Lord comes, teaching false doctrine. The law of Moses is the, 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 the strength of the law is sin. I just read it. The, 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 the law and administration of death has been replaced by the administration of the spirit, which is only has to do with Yahweh Shai. Romans 9 and 32, it says, because they sought it not by faith, but as it were by the works of the law, they stumble at the stumbling stone. So a lot of guys are stumbling at the understanding of Yahweh Shai because they don't have the understanding of this new covenant. And so you have to understand that. And I love it. Certain brothers are really getting it. And a lot of you guys are being, you're scratching your head and shit because you really don't have that understanding like certain brothers do. It says, as it is written, behold, I lay in Zion a stumbling block, a rock of offense, and whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. So guys that are holding to Moses and really don't believe in the Lord like that, they're being ashamed in these days. So you can't have two masters. Let's go back to Matthew 13 and 21. I just wanted to do this real quick. Matthew 13 and 23, but he that receiveth seed unto good ground is he that heareth the word, understand it, like, like certain brothers are understanding it, which also bear fruit, bringing forth some hundredfold, some sixty, and some thirty. You see that? So the ones that are understanding the new covenant, leaving Moses out of it, understanding that that old law has been abolished, they're the only ones bringing forth fruit. You guys that don't understand that Moses ain't got nothing to do with this. You're not bringing forth good fruit. You're bringing forth evil fruit. You're doing the same thing camps are doing. So a lot of you guys are just worse as camps. Teaching in deceit and hate. Matthew 13 and 24. Another parable he put forth unto them saying, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a man with so of good seed in his field. You see that? So the good seed... Are the ones that are actually of God. Everybody is not of God. It says, but while the man slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and he went his way. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. So the, so the servants, so the servant of the householder came unto them and said, sir, didn't thou sow good seeds in the field from whence comes from whence from whence then has it tares, right? So you have tares and wheat that are being sold in this time. So you have to be able to see the tares from the wheat. You have to be able to discern. That is the that is what the Holy Spirit consists of discerning spirits. Judgment, faith, and the discernment. Love. You cannot teach this new covenant without a love for the Lord. So if you teaching Moses, let me just say this. If you're teaching men Moses, then you don't really love the Lord like that. You're trying to teach men to have two masters. Therefore, men are double minded in this time.
So you have tares in this in this uh, field and you have the wheat. And he said unto them, an enemy have done this. The servant said unto him, without then we gather, we go gather them up. But he said, nay, least ye gather up the tares, ye root up the wheat with them. Let both go together into the harvest. And in the time of the harvest, I will say to the reapers, gather ye together first the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn, into my barn, possessive, my barn, not Moses' barn. This ain't got nothing to do with Moses. When the Lord said, gather the wheat into my barn, it is gathering the wheat, the wheat into the Lord's barn, Yahweh Shai's barn. Yahweh Shai is the, uh, is the way, the door, and the light. You see? Yahweh Shai is the shepherd. He is the way. That is the only way. And if you're teaching men is more than one way, then you're a false prophet. There's only one way. Through Yahweh Shai. So with that, let me get out of here. I just wanted to, to put that in there. Yahweh Shai is gathering men into his barn by himself. All power has been given to the Lord in these times. And if you're of Lord, if you're of Yahweh Shai, you're gonna understand him. If you're not really of Yahweh Shai, you're not really gonna understand him, and you're going to be teaching Moses and all other types of doctrines. Repent to the new covenant. Yahweh Shai don't need a uh Yahweh Shai is a power by himself. You don't need Moses for salvation. All right. Repent to Yahweh Shai only. All right. Repent to the new covenant. And with that, I see you brothers on the next one. With that, hey, Shalom. Doesn't Pluto, doesn't Pluto.